Hello, I'm John Clothier and welcome to my workshop. So this is the first part of a two-part series where I'm going to be making a resin sphere in two parts. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, the first thing is, take a look at this. So this is a lovely piece of Australian Marley Burr. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is quite often used, cut up and put into moulds like this and then pour resin on the top and you get a hybrid mold, uh, casting, which you can then turn into a sphere. And I've made a few of these and I really enjoy making them. But I think I can take this a stage further. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a silicon casting of this to make a mould of this that I can then use to create a resin piece of burl. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to cut a piece of this up to fit inside my four inch mould. Once that's done we can then transfer it to my five inch mould where I can cast it in silicon. So first of all I'm going to take this over to the bandsaw I'm going to cut out a hundred mil cube. Hundred mil four inches okay. Now I'm going to concentrate on trying to keep this bit here because it's the biggest bit and it's got the most amount of detail. So first of all, I'll cut flat on one side, measure it 100 the one way, and then obviously cut off the other two bits to make the square. So I've got my cross cut sled here and I've got them burned on it and it's just ready to take this cut. Once I've done that, I'll get rid of this and we'll bring the fence up. Because I know my mould is 100mm by 101mm, I've marked this up to 100mm using the same ruler. I can take my next cut. Now it's back to the crosscut sled where I can cut the 90 degrees on the first side. I've drawn a line at 100 millimetres on my crosscut sled, so all I need to do is line this up and I'm ready to take the last cut. All these bits will be useful in future projects, so I'm not going to throw them away. Okay, so that's the wood cut. Um, so that now fits in here a treat. So what I need to do now is take my next mould, which is the bigger one, and I'm going to hot glue it to the bottom. Now I've also made a little black mark, which hopefully you can see, and I know that that's my fill level, so I don't need to go beyond that with the silicon. So let's get the hot glue on the bottom of this. Right, I'm gonna try and put this in as centrally as I can. Press it down and wait for the glue to set. Okay, so that's pretty much set. One thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to put a little spray coat of the uh, a release agent all the way around. Hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier to get the silicon mould out when it's done. Okay, so now I'm ready to turn my attention to the silicon. So I've got uh, just a regular uh, mixing pot. I don't know how much I'm going to need, so I might have to mix it up in stages. Here's the silicon I'm using. So it's Addition Cure Silicon Rubber from Easy Composites. And this you mix by 100 to 10, or 10 to 1, uh, by weight. And this is the catalyst you have to mix in with it. So I suppose I better get my scales out. Right, so I've got some rubber gloves on just in case. Um, the scales are set at zero. I'm gonna start by probably mixing up about, I don't know, about 300 milliliters and seeing, taking it from there. So let's see how much that weighs. roughly 300 milliliters and that weighs 340 grams so if i add in 34 grams that should be the right amount okay now to help me mix it together i've bought one of these off of amazon it's just a steel rod with a, a nylon twiddly bit at the end and we put it into your drill and mix it together So with them both being clear, I've no idea how well that's mixed. 
Um, yes, I've introduced a lot of air doing it this way, um, but this stuff's really thick and I didn't fancy doing it with a, uh, with a spatula by hand. I'm gonna be putting it in the pressure pot, so that should solve the issue with the air bubbles anyway. It's just, what do I do with all of this? Okay, so let's pour this in and see how far that goes up. Well, it's plain to see that that's nowhere near enough, so I'm gonna mix up another batch. Okay, let's see if I've got enough this time. Okay, so fairly typical for me. Um, anytime I get anywhere near silicon, I get it everywhere, which is what I've done. But I've got it all in here, took the whole pot in the end. Let's get it in the pressure pot and leave it till tomorrow. So 24 hours pretty much to the minute since this went in the pressure pot and it's now back out. It's all set. All I need to do is get it out of the HDPE mold, um, which might be a bit of a challenge. Even though I sprayed um, the mold release, I don't know whether that's really gonna help or not. So I've loosened all the screws on the front of this. Let's take off the front cover. So let's move them to one side. So I know I'll get that off easily. Okay. And hopefully you'll be able to see the silicon's there. We've got a little bit of excess, which is fine. I can cut that off with a, with a sharp knife and it's in there, but it's well and truly in there. So what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to take the screws out the back panel to get that off. And then hopefully I'll better get the sides off. Now, normally with something like this, I'd opt for a um, electric screwdriver. However, I feel because this is the plastic, the HDP plastic, I want to just be a little bit more careful, um, and I'm, especially when it comes to screwing it back together. So I'm just going for a manual screwdriver. Right, so let's try and knock that back panel off. Bit of teasing with a silicon. Whoa! And it comes flying off. Okay, so I hope with the sides, it might just be a case of just pulling at the silicon. Right, so that one off. I kind of intended to pull it out like that. Well, I guess I'm gonna learn how to put these back together again. So now it's a case of getting it off the bottom. Now, of course, the wood itself is hot glued on there. So this is gonna be more of a challenge. Da -da. Or maybe it's not. Okay, so it looks like a lot of the, or so a lot, some of the silicon's got underneath the hot glue. It looks like maybe the hot glue is not worked as well as it could off. So I've just trimmed up the edges. Um, I don't need to be a neat job. This is a mold. It's not something that's uh, been used for anything else. Um, I'm just starting to try and peel away at the wood to see if I can get some um, movement on it. Good bit on the side there, but I think this is where I'm gonna start to struggle because the silicon's kind of got through underneath the, um, the hot glue. So what I'm doing now is just going around and just teasing it little bit by little bit. I don't want to damage the inside of the mold, but obviously I need to get the wood out. So little by little, gentle by gentle. And it's out. So there's the mold. That's quite interesting. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see that on the camera. Let's show the broom in a little closer. But it's picked up a lot of, I would say, muck, dirt off of the uh, off the wood, which is interesting because I did give this a good bit of a clean before I did this. Um, but never mind, I'm sure that's not going to be a problem. Anyway, that's it for part one of this video. In part two, we're going to cast some resin in this mold and then make a fresh blank that we're going to take over to the lathe and probably make a sphere from it or something else, but probably a sphere. If we're new here, I invite you to hit that subscribe button that's down here. And I've also put a couple of videos here and here of other things that you might be interested in watching with resin casting that I've done on my channel. Anyway, that's it from me. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.